solving the sum of equations using elimination. What is solving the sum of equation by elimination? So in the elimination method, you either add or subtract the equation to get an equation in one variable. When the coefficients of one variable are opposite, you add the equation to eliminate a variable. And when the coefficients of one variable are equal, you subtract the equation to eliminate a variable. There are three simple steps. Step number one is to add or subtract both equations by each other so you can cancel one of the variables. Step number two is to solve normally to get one of the variables alone. And step number two is to plug that number or the answer into one of the equations and solve. I can use the elimination method to solve system of equations. Here's an example. We have 4x plus 8y equals 20 and negative 4x plus 2y equals negative 30. So the first step is you have to add both equations by each other. So 4x minus 4x is 0x. You don't really have to write the 0. So, and we have 8 plus 2 is 10y and 20 minus 30 is negative 10. So now what we're going to do here is we canceled one variable. So now we have two, um, sorry, we have one variable so we can control it. Now what we want to do is to leave that variable alone. And by doing that, we can divide both sides by 10. So 10 divided by 10 is 1. We don't have to write that. And negative 10 divided by 10 is negative 1. So now we know the variable of y, which is negative 1. Now what we have to do is we take that number, the value of y, and we plug it in in one of the equations, whatever you want. You, you have to choose the simplest equation so you can work with. So the simpler equation you choose, the more faster you'll get the equation and the system done. So to me, uh, the easier equation to me is the first one. So I'm just going to use that which is 4x plus 8y equals 20. And I'm going to take the value of y, which is negative 1, and plug it here. Because negative 1 is the value of y, and you're just going to plug it in. Now what you're going to do is divide 8 by negative 1, which is negative 8, and then you write down the rest of the answer normally. Now what we want to do is we still want to get x alone. By doing that, we can add 8 in both sides. So negative 8 plus 8 is 0. We can cancel that. And now we have 20 plus 8, which is 28. Now I'm just going to write, uh, write it here. So now we have 4x equals 28. We still haven't done. We still want to get x alone. By doing that, we can divide both sides. We can do a fraction and divide both sides by 4. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. We don't have to write that. 28 divided by 4 is 7. Now we found the value of x, which is 7. Now all you have to do is write down the equation as opening bracket x and y closing bracket. Now we're done, we just have to write the solution. We found the value of x and the value of y. All we have to do now is just write the solution like this. Thank you.